it is time for the members only um, September. This is going to be September's uh, members only video. And we got five more rolls from the Ma and Pa Penny Box that I got from Pa's Pair Time. We are um, 30 rolls in. This is going to be roll 30 35. And uh, we had some a ton of wheats in the last five rolls. You can see right now we're 34 rolls in. We've got 226 wheats. That's a lot of wheats. I mean, I don't think this is not every single wheat, but this is a lot of them. <laughs> so that's so far. That's what I got there. Um, we hit another still cent, three still cents. We hit another mercury dime. Oh, I didn't write it down. We have uh, two, sil two silver um, mercury dimes there. And uh, the one from last time was uh, 1918. Very worn. Um, but yeah, there is our current numbers, our current stats. Uh, two Indian head sets and uh, a bunch of really cool stuff there. Uh, but we're going to get into these five rolls and see what we got in these five rolls there. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> Coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. Let's start off here. Hopefully, let's find something awesome in these rolls. Let's find something awesome. <laughs> I mean, the whole box has just been amazing. This is one of those boxes, lifetime, boxes of a lifetime there. Oh, we did have a 1951 on the end. I saw it real quick and it started tumping it out. But, zoom in a little bit there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm just going to go hit up through. That's a, that's a terrible sound. Let me get that out of here. Get that out of here. Ugh. Um... We're going to go through and check out all the wheat scents here. And uh, then I'll go back through and check for any other airs, varieties, and what have you. 1941 is our first wheat scent of the roll. Um, a couple cents back, we have a 1944. Nice. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, was that one? No. Um, I've seen another some more back here. Ooh, this roll's a little bit light, it looks like. Let's move this over a little bit. Oh, but we got one here. Another wheat set. 1954S. I uh, wonder if I've missed some in this roll. And then the Ender was a 1951 out of San Francisco. There we go. So right now, it looks like I have four wheats in here. Um, again, I might have missed one. But uh, yeah, let me... Is this one? Nope. Nope, that's not it. All right, let me get through these, and then we'll see what else we got. Four wheat cents on the first roll. Not not a bad start. Okay, so that roll, a lot of those pennies were kind of rough. Kind of rough and rugged there in that first roll. But we got the four wheats, and we're moving on to roll number two. See what else we can find in here. 1951 roll under there. Nice, that's so another wheat scent ender. And we got something in here. I just poured it out and uh, you can see you got something back here. That doesn't look like a wheat scent. Doesn't look like a scent at all. Shall we see what that is? I think I know what it is. But I'm not looking close at it. Oh, it's another Canadian silver dime. Oh, it's got the ring of death on the end there. Oof. This is a George, King George from 1951. It looks like 1951. Nice. Well, that is a pretty cool find there. It's a nice silver dime from Canada there. So let's take a look at these wheats real quick. 1951. And then a few over here. We got a 1939. Nice. So 30s wheat scent there. Very cool. Oldest wheat scent 
of the hunt so far. 1956 out of Denver. We'll set that up there, out of the way. 1957 out of Denver. Let's see, am I on the camera? 1944, San Francisco. Just a little bit more so we can get a little closer. I'm not fully zoomed in so we can see these coins here. It's pennies. Whew, that's another shiny 1960 out of Denver. We're checking that one out for sure here in a minute. 1969 out of Denver. Now you can find them where you can get uh, no FG, but they don't really hold any value unless they're in a red and a higher state quality. And a lot of the 60s and 70s you can find where the roof is floating or the um, parts of the roof has been polished off. Same thing happens with the FG. I can see the FG on this one. But if that's missing, it's been polished off when they polish the die. Um, 1960 out of Denver. Um, I don't always talk about that one, but uh, it is one that um, I do check for. Um, real quick, 1952 out of San Francisco. Nice. Um, but, oh, look at this. Look at this. We have a, is that a Chinese or... Japanese, it's not Japanese, um, Korean or Taiwan maybe, I definitely have to look this one up, um, does not look Chinese, looks more uh, Korean, possibly an old Taiwanese coin, but I don't think, um, leaning Korean, um, we'll see if I'm right when I look it up, we have a blazing red, 1957 out of Denver. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? 1954 out of Denver. I am zoomed in. And can you see what I'm looking at here? Um, I think I'm still on the camera. One more wheat scent here. This might be the last one of the roll. 1946. That's a Philly. That looks like it. Well, that was a fun roll. That was a fun roll. Some interesting finds. Um, going back to the 1969 out of Denver. Um, in brown shade, you could probably get a buck or two, a couple bucks, or probably worth a couple bucks for the no FG. Um, floating roofs are quite common to find on. 1969 out of Denver's especially, because you can find those. This one does look like it is a floating roof, even though it does have an FG on it. Um, I better set that aside so I can take a picture of that. Um, but yeah, oop, we got another week sent in here. 1956 out of Denver. Um, yeah, but the, the no FG 1969 is, doesn't really ha have much value until you get into the, um, higher grades and to the red coins and, even then, if you did send us in to be graded, the FG has to be completely gone. Um, if there's a little bit room in it there, then it won't count as a no FG. So um, that's why I never really talk about them, because I think I've found one in a really ragged state before, but that, that was a long, long, long time ago. Um, I think that was shortly before I started actually filming my coin hunts. Um Anyways, I've rambled on long enough for this roll. Some awesome finds. A nice foreign. Two nice foreigns. A silver dime in here. Shiny red 1957. And then a stack of wheats there. What's that? Um, eight, nine, ten wheats in the roll. Very cool. All right, let me get through the rest of these and we'll get to the next roll. Okay, nothing else out of that roll. That was a really cool roll. Some nice, fun stuff in that roll. All right, let's see what is on our next roll. No, no wheat sender sent ender in this roll. So we're two and one for wheat set enders. There's some shiny coins in this one. See a couple wheat cents. Um, that was not the ender, the wheat cent there. This is the ender. I think I see a Canadian. No, 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 no. That's not a Canadian. Let's just zoom in. It looks like a polished. Indian head sent there. 
So we're just going to go to this. Yeah, this one has been polished. It's shined up. 1906. Uh, looks like shined up and maybe even put a little gloss coat or something on there. Yeah, because you can see right here in the corner. Let's zoom in. Get really close if it lets me. You can see right here where the glossiness kind of breaks there. It's where um, whatever kind of gloss coat they put on here. When her fingernail polish or something came off there. Should probably put this in some acetone to see if I can get that off of there. And salvage the coin in a better shape than what it is in. But that is a 1907 Indian headset. Or 1906. Um, I can see the top of Liberty a little bit there. Cool. Nice. That's an awesome find. Very cool. That's our third Indian headset of the box so far. All right, let's zoom in. I'm just going to zoom all the way in and just try to make sure I get this all on the camera here as I sort through these. 1955 out of Denver. And then there was this one here. 1942 out of Philly. And then let's see here. We did have a Canadian. Ha ha, 1951. That is a King George as well. This is a King George hunt. Two King George coins. 1942 out of Philly. And then let's slide some more of these into the shot so we can see here. Um, oh, yep, yeah, that is a wheat scent. 1953 out of Denver. That one is rough, but still a wheat scent. I got another wheat scent and one more two back. 1953 out of San Francisco. Uh, 1936. Nice. That is now our oldest wheat scent of the hunt. There. Looks like I got a little marker on my finger now. Sorry about that. Um, not that you want to see that up close. It's 1966. I got to check that one for. Um, double dies on the front and the back. Oh, wow. We got a shiny, shiny 1958 out of Denver. That is another blazing scent there. Nice. Nice. Very cool. The one, and we got another bright and shiny 19, 2009 out of Denver. Uh, some spots on the reverse, but cool. Cool find there. Let me make sure we're in the camera. We have, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Oh, ho, 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 buddy. I got a second rough, but it's another Indian headset, 1905. Oof, this one is rough. It's like it's got some of that same coat on there, that polish or whatever they put on there. But that one is rough, but it's still an Indian headset. Very cool. Nice. That's two Indian headsets in this one roll. Wow. 1957 out of Denver. Nice. Wow, this was... A Another awesome roll here. Hopefully I wasn't zoomed in close enough and you could see stuff on the camera there. Uh, but nice. So I got this pile to go through and double check. Two, four, six, seven, seven. Another BU, so that's eight. Um, eight. Eight wheat cents, if I can uh, think right. Two Indian head cents. And a 1951 Canadian. Nice. That was a strong roll as well. Foo-wee. Man, oh man. That is a nice, that is a nice, nice finds in that roll. Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, let me get through these here and we'll get into the next roll. Okay. Those have been some solid rolls. Two Nice rolls with some nice finds back to back. And we got another wheat scent ender. That is three out of four rolls with a wheat scent ender there. This one's just tore, so I'm just going to rip it. This one is tore. So let's see. I don't see any silver coins in this one, but that's to be expected. I'm not expecting, ever expecting silver coins. We got a really nice shiny uh, 2009 there. All right, I'm going to put that over there with the other one, and I'll check that for a extra 
Whew, that is a rough penny. I'll check that 2009 for an extra finger. Look at this one. This was, has been beat up, and you can see where the copper has been. Looks like it's been eaten away with some acid or something, and then it's just been put through the ringer. That is a destroyed coin there. Ooh, boy, that one's destroyed. All right, um, let's flip the coins this way so I can see them a little bit better. And what have you, our ender. Oh, we have double back-to-back -back on the end. 1948 out of San Francisco. And a 1956 out of Denver. Cool. So those, uh, the 40, the 48 was the ender. So let's take a look through here. Um... 1956 out of Denver. Just a little bit more. Try to get a good view of everything there. Um, back to back wheats here. 1948 out of Denver. Another wheat set. 1955 out of Denver. Um, looks like we got another wheat here. This one is a bit worn. And it is falling on the floor. Hold on. Well, okay, I have lost that wheat scent somewhere. So um, it's probably up under a chair or the desk somewhere. Let me finish getting through this roll and uh, then I will uh, move stuff around and find it. But I figured, let me finish going through the rest of this roll real quick. And then I'll see if I can find it. I've been looking around for it for a few minutes now. And I don't see where it went. <laughs> 1950 out of Denver. Um, ooh, that's a pretty decent 1999 out of Denver. I have an amazing one in my book. Ooh, we got another red, red 1958. A red wheat scent there. That one looks quite nice. That's 2006. Okay, on the front. The reverse looks pretty nice, though. I think we have one more here. One more wheat scent. 1957 out of Denver. Very cool. All right, so three, six, seven, eight, plus one that's on the floor somewhere, which I gotta find. I saw a couple of dimes under my desk from hunts in the past, which I dropped and couldn't find, but I, I think I found those, but I haven't found the wheat scent yet. So I gotta do some looking. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna just uh, rip through these real quick and then, um, uh, probably going to send about 20 minutes looking for that, moving some furniture around, trying to find that wheat scent. It rolled somewhere, and I did not see where it got to. All right, well, let me get through these, and then I'll be right back and uh, hopefully have that other wheat scent. If not, if I can't find it, we'll just do the other roll, and I will add it at the end. I will find it before the video gets it done here. Ah, fingers crossed. Hopefully, I can find it. <laughs> okay, I found it. It was face down, so I haven't seen what it is. It was across the room under a chair. I had to move some stuff into, uh, so I could get to the chair and move it. And there it was. So let's see. 1929. Nice. Nice. That's another 20s for the hunt. Nice roll. Stack of wheats there. A 29 is the earliest wheat. Another blazing red scent there for the hunt. Last roll in this hunt. This has been some awesome five rolls. It's been some great five rolls. We got a really rough scent there on the end. There. And then um, another end scent there. So it doesn't look like we are three out of five wheat ender rolls in this hunt. All right, that's an 88. Um, all right, let's zoom in. I'm going to zoom all the way in for this roll. I'm just going to slide them over as we go. We've got a wheat scent, 1956 out of Denver. Um, it's another 2009. It's rough. Uh, 2000 of Denver, not good enough. 2005. 2005, 6, and 7. Um, the reverses are really well struck on those dates. 
Um, so yeah, every time I see one, this is a 2004, and they're pretty good, but the 2005s, 2006s, um, are just strong, strongly struck coins there. Um, so those are, I always pick those up and like, oh, this is going to be a great one. And I flip it over and it's kind of rough on the front. 1950 out of Philly. That's our next sweet scent. Here's our next sweet scent here. 1955 out of San Francisco. Nice. That's not one I have seen very much of. It's been a bunch of Denver's. It's another 2009. That one is pretty rough. So it looks like we got a few more scents. There are, and there was a memorial, a tore up memorial. Two more Canadian, or two more wheat scents. 56 out of Denver. And a 50 San Francisco. Nice. Okay. Our final roll has um, five wheats in there, unless I missed one. So cool, cool. That was some fun five. Uh, rolls there. Let me get through these and see if there's anything else in here that I missed. But otherwise, we'll do the wrap up here in a second. All right, so that was an awesome five rolls. Let's break down the fines here. Um, for the Wheaties, we had 22 from the 50s, 8 from the 40s, 2 from the 30s this time, so that's nice. And we had another 20s. That's our second 20s on the box, so that's pretty cool. We had a Canadian set 1951 that isn't king george from 1951 you can zoom in here and get all these here we had a king george silver dime since we're talking about canadians that was a 1950 silver dime so that was a cool find there um, we hit two indian head sets a 1905 and a 1906 and if i do soak these in some acetone to try get this um fingernail you know, polish clear whatever clear coat or something off of there I'll pop up some pictures of it if I get that done before I finish editing the video. And then we had this. Um, this is a Wan Yuan from Taiwan. So it's, it's a Taiwanese coin. And I my gut had me going to ta Taiwan. And I should have went with my gut. But I kept going back and forth. But this is a Wan Yuan uh, from Taiwan. So that's cool, cool, interesting find. Um very cool to find one of those in a box and then down here bottom row we have a 1957 out of Denver 1958 out of Denver and a 1958 all nice red shiny uh, blazing red scents there so those are really cool to find all right so there we go that's the finds for this hunt a solid five rolls we've now gone through 35 rolls um, all right, and uh, if you haven't yet, there is monthly giveaways going on, one for everyone and then one for members. So members, you can get into both, so make sure you hit up both of those and get into those monthly giveaways. I'm, I'm going to try to do those every month unless something major goes down. It shouldn't be a problem for me to do those. Um, so do look forward to those every month. All right, well... I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, help me out, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.